good luck. Good luck. Now, of course, we've had main course. It's time for dessert. Now, the batch lady, Suzanne Mulholland, is back with an easy-to-make treat that you can keep for weeks and looks delicious. It looks shop-bought, doesn't it? Yeah, it's honestly... This is one of those staple recipes that you can use three ingredients and then you can change it up all the time. You could have one for Christmas, you could have an Easter one, you can have one for a birthday party, you can put all different stuff in it. So once you know this three ingredient recipe, I'm going to show you all the different things that you can do with it as well. It's just one of those really go. good, it, nice it's recipes. It's not staying in the fridge for weeks, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, this is gone. Um, in hours. Day. So all you really need is a can of in? condensed I'm milk. I'm in already. Oh my gosh, you try it? It's a bit, it's... Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh so gosh. everybody thinks that fudge is really tricky to make and it's quite expensive to buy. Mm. You end up buying it in this tiny little packet and it's actually super easy. So if anybody's at home with kids, it's a great one to do. You do the hot bit, you let them do the other bit. So you're just going to put a, um, a can of condensed milk in and 30 grams of butter. And then as that's on the heat, you're just going to start with your chocolate. So if you've got little kids, this is where, I mean, you can use a knife and cut it up, but if you've got little kids, you can I just can have break them it sit yeah, and yeah, break, yeah. break it all up as they go along into That's little bits. It's quite a mess-free one for it's, them to do. It's so <laughs> mess-free. Well, so I have a 20-year-old. He'll make that messy. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just made this um, for the kids to take to school at the weekend, and uh, I'm telling you, it is... It's a winner. If you want, yeah. to, if you want to look at que look like Queen Bee, Mum or Dad at the school gates, this is this is the one. As oh, you're I bet homemade it's about fudge. time I did. I'm normally running in late. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's lovely about it? One of the one of my fudge issues is sometimes the sugar is a bit like oh, in your teeth. You know that kind of grindy. Yeah. yeah, This is really smooth. Mm. It's really it is. It's here. really smooth. So um, just break it all up, all the chocolate. So you're using 500 grams of chocolate, um, and see if you're on a budget. Fudge is an expensive thing, but if you are on a budget, just use really cheap chocolate. You know, yeah. that sort of value one, you can use that no problem at all. This is it works just the same. Good way to use up. You know, like, I've still got Easter eggs. Yeah. Yeah. There's still Easter eggs in the cupboard. This is quite a good one to sort of get rid of all exactly. that. Exactly. It's really mm. good for that. And actually, that's what's quite nice. You can put any chocolate in it as well. So if you want to have a variation on this, you could add white chocolate. I feel chocolate. like we should have helped do this, which is kind of irritating. You could, you could, yeah. But the, the, the outfit is... We're not going to... Oh, I mean, we can kiss outfit. goodbye to this being... Um, OK, so just break <laughs> it all I'm dressed up. like a piece of fudge, so actually I would have been... <laughs> I would have been OK. You're OK. You'll be all right in your right. trousers. <laughs> so that is How your fudge. Start mm -hmm. mixing it around. I'm in now. <laughs> Start mixing it around oh. and you're just waiting for it to melt over the heat and you're bringing it all together. Um, once you bring it together, it starts to look like this. Oh, look at that. And let me just put this back on the heat, this one. Yeah, and I just want to pipe that, like that. directly just, into oh, my mouth. Honestly, and that is your basic fudge recipe. Now, if you wanted to, you could use white chocolate and you'd get a white chocolate fudge. Um, oh, that would be nice. And they've started to make condensed milk in a green uh, can, which is vegan. So if ah. you use vegan chocolate, if you use some um, vegan butter... A vegan fudge. Vegan fudge. Can you stick a spoon in that mixture? <laughs> I, was, I, 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 could, I could feel you. Want one, you. Right. Go on then. You want one. I'll just get a I'll do one for Rochelle. Hand you in. do what you know you want to. Go on, I'll have a bit. Health just, and safety make sure it's not I know, not I know there's health and safety issues here, <laughs> but I'm not here tomorrow, so I don't care. <laughs> OK, oh, that's fine. This, um, this ten-week challenge is going well. Oh, 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 the white outfit, the white outfit. OK. So, when you get it to this oh. sort of nice, warm <laughs> consistency... Gosh. That's how ridiculous. Good is that? <laughs> that's really good. Then you can literally... Oh. I'm going to put biscuits in it, um, and you can make it go further. You can put whatever biscuits you want. Get the kids to do this as well. In the so, in the bag... Oh, that's genius. And we're just going to bash it up. Just putting it in the tea here. We're, we're developing Ooh. the recipe Ooh. for it. <laughs> well, that testing. might be a new recipe I would mm. use. Um, Bash them all up. Use whatever biscuits you've got in. Anything mm. you want at all. On a budget, just use the cheapest budget recipe uh, biscuits that you've got. Pour in most of it, but leave a bit for the top. So, a few big chunks for the top of it. And then you're just mixing it around. See, I do love the crunch in there. You yeah, know, like... I think you need the crunch. I, yeah. I like a biscuit in it. And also, if you're on a budget, put more biscuit yeah. in. More and, biscuit over chocolate. And, and it's just going to make it go even okay. further, so you can just eke it out. I so, like the crunch. I also like the idea of hiding myself in a locked room and just spooning that <laughs> into me for and now. Then, I can't imagine that would be something you would do. It would be, yeah, it would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyone seen Craig? <laughs> <laughs> OK, and then just literally get it like that. I mean, so easy to do. This goes in the fridge for two hours 
and it's set and you can cut it. Once you get it to this stage here, you're just grabbing anything extra that you've got over the top. You can do sweets on it, you could do, you know, oh, like Easter honeycomb. eggs or honeycomb, anything. Mm. Oh, you could um, put some chilli in so that. So whatever you like. What? Why would you ruin it? Because you could put chilli in it. I'd like chilli in that. No, I might. Yeah. Once it gets to this stage, <laughs> pat it down a little bit. <laughs> I am also feeling quite ill at the moment, so I might be saying... And then <laughs> that's going in the fr fridge, and all you want to do from there is just literally oh my when it comes really out, satisfying. Look at that. this is oh. most, Do you want to have a shot? Go on. This is the most satisfying <laughs> yeah. bit. Yeah, this is you just chop it Which way am I squares. going? Another? So if you do another lengthwise, oh. and you want small oh, squares, because it it's good quite as you sweet. <laughs> no, no, no. I think... She's not a cook. <laughs> no, you, that's, this, is, this, is, this is your gig. I think I'm... Yeah. OK, so then you're just cutting it into little bits like this. Carry it. Put, put it in the fridge. You can freeze it, the school so you can just take them out one you. at a time. So really good to last for in the freezer as well. Delicious. Dead easy. Thank you so much. That was amazing from you today. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Yes, Loved it. Made thanks. our day. Thanks, uh, thanks to Suzanne and all the details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our This Morning chefs are free on our This Morning app.